Hola, buenas noches a todos. Good evening. Welcome to En Casa con la Plaza. Today, Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. My name is Abelardo de la Peña Jr. Here it goes. Let me get started here. En Casa con la Plaza. Abelardo de la Peña Jr., Director of Marketing and Communications with La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, bringing you En Casa con la Plaza, La, la Plaza de Cultura y Artes, our virtual programming three times a week. We bring you the best of our community's history, art, and culture from our homes to yours via these presentations, conversations, demonstrations, and performances. Been doing it since April of 2020 during these pandemic times. Hopefully, everybody out there is staying safe, staying well. Uh, our sponsors tonight, PepsiCo and Kaiser Permanente. If you're joining us on Zoom, please use our comment section to let us know where you're viewing from. Use the Q&A feature to ask questions throughout the program. If you're on Facebook, make comments, ask questions. You can start a watch party. I'll be doing that soon too, as soon as I could figure this out. Tonight, I have a special program for you. It is uh, back in October of 2020, a, one of La Plaza de Cultura y Arte's initiative is called the Eastside Arts Initiative. It's a program that we founded a few years back in which we, uh, a council of um, including board members and other community members, uh, the, it's a granting program to support artists and art organizations serving Eastern LA County. Back in October, we announced the COVID-19 relief grant. In response to the COVID-19 impact on the arts community, we launched our Show Your Creativity COVID Relief Grant Fund with a total of $50,000 to provide one-time relief grants to artists and arts organizations serving East LA County. Now to talk a little bit more about that, we have on tape, actually uh, recorded uh, one of the council members, someone which I'm sure a, a few of you know, out there know and love, um, and he'll introduce himself via this recording. So please enjoy this information. And uh, thank you very much. This will be a, a different program for En Casa Con La Plaza, but it'll be one that I'm sure that you will enjoy. So here we go. Hi, this is Richard Enigas. As a member of the Eastside Arts Initiative Council, thank you for joining us for this session of the Plaza con la Plaza. La Plaza de la Cultura y Artes, Eastside Arts Initiative's Show Your Creativity COVID-19 Relief Grant Fund, awarded 46 arts relief grants totaling $50,000 last month. 1,000 grants were awarded to 43 individual artists and $2,500 each to three arts organizations experiencing hardship due to the loss of creative work during the pandemic. As reported by the Los Angeles Times this month, Los Angeles County is the highest in the country with COVID uh, virus infections. So, it behooves us to be safe, wear our masks, and constantly keep clean hands, okay? But meanwhile, the grantees range from musicians, filmmakers, visual digital apparel artists, actors, comedians, photographers, and others serving Eastern LA County, including Southeast LA, San Gabriel Valley, and Pomona Valley. Through their endurance and creative work, our grantees are keeping the arts alive in Eastern LA County. And we are glad to be helpful to them during these challenging times. We are inspired and encouraged by their resilience and are pleased to share some of their work. We invited grant applications to submit videos as part of their Share Your Creativity grant applications. During difficult times as a community, we look to those in the arts to bring us out of the dark and into the light. And we asked artists 
If the world is your oyster, share with us your pearls. Since its establishment in 2015, the EAI has awarded more than $900,000 to artists and arts organizations serving Eastern LA County. Now, among these recipients are the following. And remember, I'm just gonna give you a few we awarded during the Show Your Creativity COVID-19 Relief Grants. And they are, and I'm gonna be reading this. Gloria and Edina Alvarez, Film Production. Eri Alvarez, Literary Visual Arts, Performing Arts. Hector Arias, Muralism. Ariana Basco, host, creator of Arts Collectives. Joe Bravo, visual artist. Denise Calachi, uh, author, musician. Alejandro Chavez, actor, voice actor, writer. Edgar de la Cruz, filmmaking. Jorge Dominguez, theater arts director. Isabella y Leticia Duco Figueroa, sculpturing, photography. Bridget Fitzgerald, actress, comedian. Richard Garcia, visual arts. Daniel Gonzalez, mirrorless. Raul Gonzalez, visual artist. Ruth Guerrero, hip hop artist, singer. Ruben Guevara, music and theater. Denise, oh, wait a minute, Lisi Harrison, that's a beautiful name. Comedy, music, digital content creation, live shows, production. Carmen Maria Hernandez, painting and photography. Well, I can go on. But the most important thing is right here, you'll be able to see some of their videos. And you might even want to buy some of their artwork. So please join us here in Casa and La Plaza for uh, these wonderful, wonderful artists sharing their, uh, their wares. Okay, Richard, any gets out and uh, please be safe. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Richard. Uh, that was pre-recorded yesterday and uh, uh, thank you so much, Richard, for, uh, for being part of the, the console that uh, put out the call for artists and also judged the grant recipients and uh and as you as he mentioned 46 uh awardees received the grants and we will be tonight showing those show your creativity uh videos which they produced as part of their application process the application process if any of you artists or or others have uh, uh applied for grants pretty extensive information is asked uh and we're gonna zero in on some of the key questions that were asked. Uh, we asked, of course, what geographic areas were served for the grants uh, or for the, the grantees, the people that were applying. Uh, as Richard mentioned, these are grants devoted to Eastern LA County. So basically from downtown going east, also south, also northeast. We asked about the, the loss of artistic work due to COVID-19. What was uh, what kind of work did they lose because of the fact that uh, venues were shutting down, uh, clients were were uh, uh, not giving jobs, uh, and what they needed the relief grants for, and how will this relief grant be used? We selected a, a, a few, and not, uh, uh, and I'll be presenting them in alphabetical order, uh, starting with uh, Hector Arias, a muralist. Uh, Southeast LA is the region that he serves. Uh, he's a resident himself of South Whittier. Most of his income came from painting murals at different gyms. We're one of the first businesses to be closed in the beginning of March, of course, were gyms, uh, and they haven't reopened. Uh, he hasn't painted a gym, and he also did restaurants in, in a few months. He completely lost this source of income due to COVID-19. Uh, he needed the relief grant. It affected his everyday self-employed business and income unable to provide for his family. This relief grant will be used to provide food, shelter for his family and reinvest in his community. So we're going to uh, go ahead and I'll share the screen once more and uh, I can get a sample of his work. So please enjoy.
right. That was uh, Hector Arias, a muralist from uh, South Whittier. The uh, name of that video was Dodger House Three Seasons. Again, uh, those of you joining us, these are uh, the Show Your Creativity videos submitted uh, to by grantees or, or potential grantees for the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 relief grants. All right, next up we have uh, Isabella Leticia Ducor Figueroa. Uh, her, her medium is sculpture and photography. She's currently a student at, at uh, Cal State Long Beach. Uh, Long Beach area and Coachella Valley is the area she serves. Uh, she was serving as a paid intern at a local museum with the potential for a full-time job. But due to that pandemic, uh, job positions at that museum were put on hold. Uh, she needs to be able to continue to pursue the arts, to purchase material for her photography. No. Nope. Uh, and uh, sorry about that. Uh, she's also currently unemployed due to the pandemic. As a junior at Cal State Long Beach, she needs the grant to help her finish college. Uh, the relief grant will be used to help her develop a project called Generations to Generations, which you see a sample of, and continue to further education at Cal State Long Beach for paying some of her classes requiring material for the upcoming semester. And again, the name of this uh, video that we'll be sharing with you is called Generations to Generations. It was uh, her submittal, the short creativity submittal for the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 relief grant. Here we go. Hello, my name is Isabella Leticia Duco Figueroa, I'm presenting the project Generations and Generations. I'm currently attending the School of Arts at CSULB, and I am really excited to see where my career takes me. Through photography and sculpture, my favorite thing to do is to teach people how to love themselves and to see the beauty that they do not see within themselves. I'm currently working on a project called Generation to Generation, revolving around my family, and I'm highlighting some of the key features of our family and how sometimes we aren't able to see the beauty within our family because we are just either tired of them or you just see them every day and you don't appreciate them and you take them for granted. So what I've done is I've taken live casts of them and I will show you those in one moment. First I take an alginate mold of the participant then I take a plaster bandage mold and then I cast it in plaster once it's removed from the participant and then we wait for it to cure and then we will pop it out of the mold. So far I've only documented my father's side of the family but I would also like to document my mother's side of the family and through this documentation process I would like to create a autobiography of the sorts and also a shared narrative through creating this book. So the project called Generations to Generations goes way beyond me and I would be so appreciative if I could win this grant because it would help me fund the publishing of this book and I would love to share my family history with more people and just to unite more families and with the concept of togetherness and the concept of family and how important it is. So please support me and my grandma and my sister and my brother and also my father. All of these people have helped me achieve to get where I am today and I would be nowhere without them. And they've all helped me create my story and I will just be eternally grateful 
if you could help us pass on our familial story. Now, certainly a, a compelling video, a uh, lot of talent there, uh, both in, in using the photography medium and, and sculpture uh, to tell a, a familiar story, a familial narrative. Uh, that again was uh, Isabella Leticia Ducor Figueroa, uh, uh, sculpture, photography, and student at Cal State Long Beach uh, from Long Beach. So congratulations on winning the grant. Uh, next up, we have Abril Magaña. Abril Magaña is a photographer uh, from La Puente, living in uh, the San Gabriel Valley. She, before the shutdown, she was booked as a photographer for private events and educational events. Her work was featured at libraries, schools, and galleries. Since the pandemic began, she no longer gets hired to photograph the events or get featured in galleries because she's under a high-risk group for COVID. She's also had to turn down job offers that she deems unsafe. Uh, her need for a relief grant because her salary has been dramatically reduced by COVID. Uh, she continues to produce our photography that she uses to fundraise for cultural and humanitarian events. And uh, she'll be using the grant uh, that she received to expand and continue the art installation Lo Que Vino Conmigo virtually so that people can access her work online and through social media. This is part of an effort to raise awareness for hurricane relief in collaboration with the Guatemalan consulate. And so this work that we'll be showing, and it's via a, a video, I mean, a, a news clip on a Spanish language TV. Uh, it's called Lo Que Vino Contigo. So here, let me get it set up for you. All right, and I will share the screen. Again, this is, uh, thanks for showing, joining us. This is uh, In Casa Con La Plaza. Show your creativity of the COVID-19 relief uh, grantee winners in the visual arts. So here we go. Hold on, please. La muestra fotográfica Lo que vino conmigo fue inaugurada en la sede consular de Guatemala en Los Ángeles el 16 de noviembre. Una colección fotográfica de memorias y recuerdos que a través del lente de abril azul muestra a una joven de origen guatemalteco que se siente orgullosa de sus raíces y nos enseña cómo el arte nos une, al mismo tiempo que le dice a las nuevas generaciones que se sientan orgullosos de dónde vienen. El acto de luchar aquí es muy importante en estas días que demuestran a una joven que ya crece queriendo saber si es su país, se siente orgullosa de ello. Tengo la participación de algunas personas que hicieron compartir conmigo cuánto el objeto con el que se vinieron a Estados Unidos, por qué iba a ir a ese objeto. El señor de Candy Paniagua, cónsul general de Guatemala, Resaltó que con la hermandad y solidaridad, el espacio consular se presta a ser innovador para que el pueblo migrante vea estas instituciones como de ellos y para ellos. Por eso planea difundir más el arte. Porque el arte nos muestra las similitudes que nos unifica y nos hermanda, ya que juntos somos más fuertes. Vamos a, 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 a tratar de difundir todo lo que sea cultura y artes, ¿verdad? Y esta es, este es la casa de los artistas, así que bienvenido, ¿verdad? Y en el cónsul aprovechó para agradecer la solidaridad de artistas mexicanos en la campaña que está llevando a cabo Un Corazón por Guate. Y creamos una cosa pues, que no es nueva, pero que la estamos implementando para esto, que es un puente, un puente de ayuda humanitaria virtual. Entonces hicimos una lista de compras en Amazon, donde están todas las prioridades que están ahí, que les enseñé, sí. están digitalmente puestas para que las personas puedan participar desde... Desde el, desde la, el la promotora de arte y directora de la galería New Life Art, Silvia Villegas, ofreció unas palabras de inauguración. Este colectivo es el resultado de su transitar en la búsqueda de una identidad propia dentro de un universo tan complejo con rostros, etnias y costumbres híbridas. La noche 
fue amenizada por el canto de Arturo Martínez. Para la gente trabajadora. Nuestra fotográfica permanecerá en exposición en la sede consular de Guatemala hasta el 31 de noviembre con apego a las medidas sanitarias. Con la información, Isabel Ramírez para pasar en el español. All right, well, thank you to uh, Abril Magaña. As you can see, her uh, she goes by the by the name Abril Azul. That was her photography. Uh, winner of a. Uh, Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 Relief Grant. Uh, next up, we have something a little bit different. Again, this is the visual arts, that was photography. Next, we have uh, 3D animation uh, by Carlos Olarte. Uh, his, his, his work takes him to an alley in Hollywood. He's a resident of Hollywood. Uh, he's been, uh, to support his, his animation work, he's been receiving support from people who believe in the project believe it can be possible. The first team that he had to work on this animation project was forced to leave because of the pandemic, but he has found other artists and, uh, and now he's, he's going to be able to continue this animation work uh, in the rendering aspect of the, the animation. Uh, he got uh, stuck in the final part in the rendering process. He doesn't have the type of equipment needed for that final render and he plans to upgrade the equipment Uh, and that's why he asked for the relief fund. So he's going to continue the, to upgrade the, the animation work that he's already done to finish this episode project. Again, this is Carlos Olarte 3D animation. Uh, and the work is called The Purplish Family, The Pink Cat. Let me get it together here. Go to the next one. No, nope. back. All right, I think I got it right. And here it goes. I'll share the screen with you. Thanks for watching. As uh, Carlos Olarte uh, uh, stated in that last frame, uh, that was Carlos Olarte, 3D animation winner of uh, one of the uh, Eastside Arts Initiative COVID Relief Fund Awards. Uh, thank you so much for that. That was pretty cool. Um, 
Next, uh, we have Albert Adorosco. First of all, I'd like to, again, thank the Eastside Arts Initiative for making this, these grants available uh, to uh, artists, performers, and more visual artists and performing artists out there who have been suffering due to uh, loss of income, uh, loss of jobs, loss of wages due to uh, the COVID pandemic. And so this is presenting videos of those that were uh, when they applied, they most of them did include a video, and these were shared with the committee who made the selection of the recipients. And I'd like to personally thank uh, uh, members of my team at La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, Mario Hernandez and Mia Romo, who helped to select these videos. Uh, next up, we have uh, Albert Orozco. He's a design artist and curator uh, working in Southeast LA. Uh, he Southeast LA Arts Festival in 2020. He was a co-designer, co-curator, and co-organizer of the festival's virtual art exhibition. Uh, also at the City of Southgate, he's a co-designer, co-curator, and co-organizer of the Virtual Day of the Dead exhibition. So he's working part-time because he's not, hasn't been able to realize projects that sustain his artistic practice and vision due to lack of arts resources. He's not been able to sell his artwork at galleries and this year, well, last year, 2020, because of the pandemic, his income from his artwork consisted of almost half of his annual income. Uh, the need for his, the relief grant, because he's been using a lot of his own money to sustain his art practice. Um, uh, one called openwalls.org. He founded this practice on the principle of creating moments of access for creatives in the visual and arts and design world in Southeast LA. Um, his relief grant will be used to invest in his art practice called Open Walls and create more virtual exhibits for the community of South LA. And this, uh, there's a web and design maintenance needed in the virtual museum to keep the virtual gallery open. And uh, the name of this work is called uh, Living Room, A Day of the Dead Visual. So here we have the the work of Carlos Al Albert Orozco uh, here on En Casa Con La Plaza. So, enjoy. Thank you so much. That was uh, called 
Living Room, A Day of the Dead Vigil by Alberto Albert Orozco, a design artist and curator, and one of the recipients of the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 uh, Show Your Creativity Relief Fund. And he submitted this video as part of his application to receive the grant. So next we have uh, Lilia Ramirez, a painting painter, mainly in South LA, East LA, Boyle Heights, East LA, downtown LA, another LA County city. She's a resident of Alhambra. Uh, in her application, she wrote that she lost one interactive mural project with a, a nonprofit organization, which was uh, canceled due to pan the pandemic. Her artist in residency with another art organization was uh, canceled and she's had to, uh, well, wasn't able to participate in other events and art sales because of cancellation. She needs a relief grant because she's experiencing financial emergencies due to COVID-19 pandemic pandemic, needing help to cover household and our studio lots, income and essential expenses, including supplies, utility payments, cash assistance to supplement her income loss. Her relief grant will be used or has been used for utility payments, studio rental and other needs such as food and housing and living expenses. And the name of her, the video that she submitted is called Art in the Times of the Rona and from uh, Lily Flood Art Studio, which is her, her uh, business. So we'll go ahead and show you that video, which was submitted as part of the grant application process. And uh, enjoy. That was pretty cool. Uh, thank you to uh, Lilia Ramirez for that uh, of Lily Florida Art Studio. And uh, yeah, art will get us through these times uh, as they have been art performances, conversations, performances. What we do here at Encasa Con La Plaza is very vital. What these artists have been doing uh, in this time of pandemic is vital to our mental health, to our physical health and, and to our, our well-being, keeping us as a community. Uh, next up, something a little bit different. Um, Daniela Magdaleno Whipple, also a winner of the, a grantee of the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 Relief Grant. She's a, a resident of the LA MacArthur Park Rampart District. Uh, she, after losing her job at the beginning of the quarantine, she hasn't had the means to expand her own business. Uh, she needs a relief grant because she lost her main source of income, applied for unemployment a few times and applied for quite a few jobs with no luck. The only income she's been able to secure is from her artistic work. And the relief grant allows her to run her website, to purchase new sewing equipment. She is a 
a fabric art, a seamstress. With the grant money, she could afford to buy a, a type of machine. It's called a serger machine to work with a wider variety of materials that her current machine cannot handle. And her very creative uh, artwork is called The Evolution of Pants. So please enjoy this video that she submitted along with her art project, I mean, with her art grant uh, uh, application. And this again is uh, uh, artist Daniela Magdaleno Whipple. Here you go. Sometimes you get tired of wearing the same old thing all the time. So you have to think, hey, what am I gonna do about this? And you know what? You gotta destroy it. Sometimes you gotta break something down to build it back up again into something that, hey, you're kind of proud of. And I'm pretty proud of these. And I'd do it again. I will do it again. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Wasting resources is just a waste of time when you break it down. So come on, do, do something with it. Care about something, take care of something. If we cared more about the things that we threw away, then, you know, maybe we'd have less things to throw away. And maybe you'd look super cute. You ever think about that? I can't stop. And honestly, I'm glad I can't stop. Because I'm really good at this. And I like doing it. I like piecing things together. Like a puzzle. Look at that doily. Look at how cute. Just every time I just outdo myself. And it's, it's great to see. <laughs> that was very great to see. Um, using recycled material putting them into uh, repurposed purposes and, and great art and, and something to wear. That was uh, pretty creative, really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. If you have any comments, please share them on, uh, on our Facebook feed, on our comment section. Those of you who are on, on Zoom, please uh, send us your comments as well. Uh, next up, we have uh, the work of, of two different artists who work in, uh, in a visual art uh, of, of film. Uh, Gary Alvarez, film production from Southeast LA. Uh, to the pandemic shut down all film production in LA through the beginning of August. While some production has begun since then, steady and consistent work remains to be determined. He needs the relief grant because of his loss of income due to the pandemic, as stated above. Since the lockdown began, he's had some, some work that he just hasn't been covered by his insurance, some um, health, health issues. Uh, so. He'll be, as you see, a collaborator for uh, this next piece, uh, along with Ray Sepulveda, uh, who works in uh, picture framing, screen printing, muralism in Southeast LA, Bell Huntington Park, Southgate, a resident of Walnut Park the, and Florence Firestone County, unincorporated. He is, um, in his application, he stated that due to COVID-19, he lost all his picture framing related to work at, as in galleries, artists, and spaces not having exhibitions or viewings until further notice. Uh, another source of income is artisan fairs, which many of our artists depend on uh, in the LA region. In order to survive the, the, this pandemic and continue to thrive and support the community, he was really hoping to be a beneficiary of this grant, which he, which he is. A lot of the work uh, he and others have been doing in Southeast LA is mostly from their heart and out of their, our, their own pockets. Uh, a recent graduate of Cal State LA, he finds uh, himself and others struggling to find their footing in this new environment. He'd use the, he was gonna use the funds to continue supporting the arts in Southeast LA region. Uh, so he and, and others who have uh, who participated in this grant because the Eastside Arts Initiative, of course, Southeast, uh, I mean, East LA County, uh, but really focused, uh, at least put efforts in promoting this in Southeast LA. Uh, there's a group there called Sela, Southeast uh, artists, uh, local artists who help get it together. They've had uh, a couple uh, events at the LA River Center. Oh no, not at the in a proposed center that's going to take be uh, uh, built. That's being proposed in the in the Southeast LA in the Southgate, in Southgate. So without any more talk from me, here we have uh, this this incredible video I'm, I'm just going to play a couple minutes of it because it's kind of lengthy but it's uh, uh, it's called el gusto de pintar con beto rosella all right so please enjoy Un par de 
coches de los más corrientes. Suela de llanta le iban a una Chevy. Un cinto piteado dice Beto Rosela. Brocha en la derecha y paleta en la izquierda. Siempre anda pintando las paredes de cela. Ok. Con un par de guaraches de los más corrientes. Sorry about that. We're going to start over again. This is the Martin video. Un cinto piteado, dice Beto Rosela. Brocha en la derecha y paleta en la izquierda. Siempre anda pintando las paredes de cela. Okay. All right. Here we are. I'm back. Uh, that was a teaser to the full length video uh, on Beto Rosella, who's a, a takeoff on, on, uh, on what's it, Bob Ross, I guess uh, a, a pretty well known PBS uh, uh, painter. So there you go. That was our show your creativity grantees in the visual arts. Uh, these are recipients of the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 grants, uh, which uh, were in October, the call out went, quite a few applications came into the Eastside Arts Initiative, which is part of La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, and uh, more than 40 uh, individuals received this grant along with uh, three arts organizations. So we'd like to thank the Eastside Arts Initiative uh, for, of course, making these grants possible. And to all the artists, visual artists in this case, who participated in the, the funding cycle and who, uh, who were awarded these grants. Uh, we'd also like to thank the, the members, the Eastside of the Eastside Arts Initiative Council uh, the chair is uh, uh, Lupe Ariola, uh, who's also a board member of La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. Uh, members of the council include Armando Duron, an arts advocate, Victor Franco Sr., public relations consultant, Dr. Alma Martinez, a scholar, artist, actor, and artivist, uh, Gloria Molina, the Honorable Gloria Molina, uh, formerly of the LA County Supervisor, a, a county supervisor, Norma Provencio, Pichardo, a nonprofit advisor and strategist, Giovanna Rebagliati, an artist, and of course, Richard Iniguez, uh, an actor. Um, we'd like you to join us this coming Friday for the second part of this, uh, th this of En Casa con la Plaza's Show Your Creativity uh, recipient uh, display of videos that were submitted as part of the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 grants uh, and the, the, it will focus on the performing arts. So we'll have singers, we'll have uh, musicians and more uh, coming up this Friday, uh, January 19th. And here I'll share the screen with you. This uh, Friday, January 19th at seven o'clock, you could watch it here on Zoom and also on Facebook Live. Um, and that, that's it for tonight in Casa con la Plaza. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to our sponsors, Kaiser Permanente and PepsiCo. Uh, to all of you who joined us, if you didn't catch this entire program from the beginning and you'd, or you'd like to see it again, we're on uh, YouTube at La Plaza LA. It'll, we'll be posting that in a, in a few hours. It's also, we'll live here on Facebook uh, at La Plaza LA and also on our website, lapca.org. Okay, muchas gracias a todos for, for joining us on tonight's En Casa con la Plaza, and we'll see you this Friday, and then in the weeks to come uh, in this virtual programming provided to you by La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. Okay, muy buenas noches.
Nos vemos pronto.